an erotic enthusiast finds his access to porn isn't as mobile as he'd like. So he ponders that 21st century question. Is there an app for that? A dubious message from the FBI appears. Suspicious files have been found on his phone. He's accessed forbidden porn sites. A penalty of $500 is demanded. He's told that if he makes any attempt to unlock the device on his own, it's against the law. But he's done nothing wrong. He's just the victim of a new and improved version of an insidious old attack, ransomware. Ransomware is malware that locks your keyboard, your computer, or your phone, or encrypts your data. That is, until you pay a ransom, usually in Bitcoin. In 2012, Symantec gained access to a server used by one piece of ransomware called CryptoDefense. After getting a glimpse at the hacker's hall over just a single day, Symantec estimated that $5 million is likely extorted from victims each year. Ransomware began in Russia and other parts of Eastern Europe more than a decade ago, and since then it's become increasingly professionalized. Two years ago, a new tool arrived. CryptoLocker. CryptoLocker is highly sophisticated ransomware, which uses public and private cryptographic keys to lock and unlock a victim's files. CryptoLocker sometimes spreads via an email purporting to come from UPS or FedEx. Victims are warned that if they don't pay within four days, the decryption key will be destroyed and no one will be able to unlock their files. Today, dozens of variants, including CryptoLocker, still prowl the internet. No one is safe from an attack. Even law enforcement agents have been ensnared. Antivirus can help detect some attempts to infect you with ransomware, but not all. The best defense against ransomware is to regularly back up your files to an external device. And, of course, be careful where you click.